So let's go ahead and uh, work some example problems, and I'll explain how to uh, how we calculate it. So let's say I have a bull. Yeah, we're gonna call him bull A. We have his EPD for birth weight equal to 1.5 pounds. Remember, that's just saying that he's gonna transmit or he's gonna have. Uh, on average have a calf that is 1.5 pounds larger than an animal or a bull whose EPD or transmitting ability for birth weight is zero. So those uh, definitions I told y'all last week, you don't need to have the, uh, you don't need to know those. But let's just say his accuracy is going to be 0.2, which looking on y'all's chart, uh, you're going to use the same packet from last week. We know that's going to be a possible change value equal to 2.2 pounds. So now I say I want to know the probability that the uh, transmitting ability for birth weight is greater than or equal to 3.7 pounds. So, uh, what we're going to do, uh, there's two ways that we can uh, look at this. But if you were to use, uh, just draw your curve just like what we did last week. Mark down right in the middle 1.5. Do plus this 2.2 right here. So plus 2.2 gives you 3.7. And you want to know the probability that it's greater, so it's everything to the right, which we know is going to be 16%. But I'm just going to use this example to show you how we uh, calculate it uh, based off of using the Z table. So the equation that we're going to use is going to be our Z value is equal to our given value minus the EPD. And we're going to divide that by the possible change value. So in this case, uh, our z value is going to be equal to our given value of 3.7. We're going to subtract our EPD of 1.5. And then we're going to divide that by 2.2. So that number comes out to 1, which is also the possible change value and the number we're going to look at on our z table. So whenever we look at that, remember how I said that it's going to be this 15.87. However, we will not be using that 15.87. We're just going to call it 16% since it falls exactly on one standard error away from the, main, or from the EPD. So uh, my recommendation would be to always draw out the... Um, the normal distribution and do plus and minus uh, one EPD away. So let's see here. 1.5 minus 2.2 negative 0.7. Sorry, I was just trying to make sure that I get it all right and not confuse everybody. So uh, we have our uh, normal distribution drawn out. Now I ask, what's the probability that this same bull's transmitting ability for birth weight is going to be greater than or equal to 4? So uh, another way to say this is equal to the probability of uh, the z value being greater than or equal to, and we can find that z value which remember is just going to be this equation right here. So we have a given value of 4 minus our EPD of 1.5 and then we're going to divide that by 2.2. It's going to be the, equal to the probability that the Z value is greater than or equal to 1.14. So now uh, let's just double check. When I say we want it, uh, we're looking at this four right here. Let's draw it on our 
normal distribution as 4 and we want it to be greater than 4 so anything on this side we know from right here over is 16 percent so whatever we find has to be less than 16 percent and this is going to work out for us because our z table remember it tells us the probability away from the mean so the mean is going to be right here remember just our EPD so uh, away from the mean would be to the right that's why it really helps to draw out the uh, normal distribution and figure out where your points are and what you're looking for so now we have a z value of 1.14 we can come back to our z table we can look at 1.1 right here and then 0 0.04 right here and wherever they inter intersect at 12.71 so that probability is equal to 1.1271 or 12.71 percent which makes sense to what we said uh, uh, up on the chart it's going to be less than uh, this probability is going to be less than the total probability of 16 percent and 12.1 is less than 16 percent so let me erase our chart up here for our normal distribution so we can use it again so now let's do uh, the probability the transmittability falls between two and four so another way we can write that is the probability of the given value of two minus one point five divided by two point two so let's go back up to uh, before we go any further let's go back up to uh, our normal distribution curve we can draw uh, two and four and we want to know the probability it falls between this region so I drew outside my curve so uh, when we do this we're going to be looking at uh, this is a z value right here and that's going to be between uh, the given value of 4 minus 1.5 divided by 2.2 but this is going to be another z value so another way we could say this is going to be equal to the probability the z value falls between 0.23 and 1.14 so 0.23 relates to this z value and 1.14 relates to z this z value and now remember guys uh, the 0.23 let's get, see if I can get a different color here let's do orange the 0.23 tells us from 2 all the way over to infinity and then the 1.4 tells us from 4 to infinity. So we, but we want to know this range in between the two. So in order to do that, what we're going to do is look at them separately. So we're going to take the p-value that z is greater than or equal to 0.23, and then we're going to subtract that. So we're going to take the big area and subtract it from the little area. And what, what I mean by that is we're going to look at the big area right here and subtract that from this little area. And that's going to give us everything in between. So the probability of the z value is greater than or equal to 1.14. So now we can go back to our chart, 0.23. So 0 0.2 is going to be here, and th 3, uh, 0 0.4090, 0 
So let me write that down. 0 0.4090 minus, and we already found uh, 1.14, but let's go ahead and find it again. It's going to be uh, 0 0.1271. And that's going to be equal to 0 0.2819 or 28.19%. So there's a 28% uh, probability that the true transmitting ability for birth weight of this bull falls between 2 and 4.